up, what up, what up? It's your boy LQ, Real Deal Fantasy HQ, bringing you the heat, brought to you by ExpandTheBoxScore.com. Today, I got another preseason star for you guys who was on the rise, Jacob Harris. Wide receiver, now tight end for the Rams. I definitely believe it will transition everything we saw in the preseason into regular season. Now, Matthew Stafford has a big body tight end who runs a 4-4. Yes, I understand Tyler Higby is there. We'll get to that in a second. But I love that Jacob Harris is a big red zone threat. We've been hearing about this guy all summer, making crazy plays downfield, making plays in the red zone. I think Matthew Stafford could have some fun with this in the red zone. So I definitely think that makes it a notch of reason why I take Jacob Harris over Tyler Higby. Now, I'm usually not the guy to tell you, oh, go draft the tight end for the Rams because they're not a tight end friendly offense. But let me play devil's advocate. Now, I definitely think the volume can be there for a Tyler Higby and a Jacob Harris or whatever the case may be, if they're going to be passing the ball more, being that the running game is not really too confident in, you know, in my eyes. I don't think Sean McVay is going to full send that running back, you know, Darrell Henderson, who's dealing with a thumb injury right now, which is not too crazy to keep him off field, but it's like, oh, here we go with the injuries. So I definitely feel like, you know, I don't think Sean McVay is too confident in that running game as a whole. So that takes a little bump down, and I definitely think, you know, they start passing the ball more. They lead to back to 2019, where they had 626 passing attempts with Jared Goff tied with Jameis Winston. That is insane. So I definitely think they might lean more onto throwing the ball more, which gives the volume to the tight ends, to the wide receivers, and et cetera, et cetera. So Jacob Harris could be a guy who can get some weekly burn. I definitely think, you know, I'd rather take the tight end if I want to be punting tight end as my last pick or have him on my watch list. Jacob Harris is going to be the guy that's going to be scoring the touchdowns, people. So that's definitely something you want to keep on your mind come draft day.